Hello, I'm Tara Nico, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Hiragana Practice. You can find this app in the Google Play Store. The link will be down in the description below. Now, I've been using this app for quite some time over the past couple of years, and over the couple over the past couple of years, it's picked up some bugs as Android systems update, but this app has not. So, what I like about this app is that it allows you to practice hiragana. And that's pretty much about it. Other than that, uh, let me go ahead and go through and show you what I don't like about this app. One, it's buggy. Um, if you touch anything below this little bar right here, down below, it will crash. It will it'll 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 close out and then run you right back to your launcher. Uh, the other thing I don't like about this app is that it doesn't provide anything beyond the standard 50, 50 hiragamas. For instance, like key. Well, you can also have key. But key can also be key, and it doesn't provide that. And let's see. And let's see what else. Oh, another thing I don't like about this app is that when you press on the hiraganas, it doesn't sound off what they actually sound like. And let's see. Now, if we go down here into the menu, uh, if you want to change the, the thickness of the brush, you can do that. And if you want to uh, change the color, you can do that in the menu down here in the right hand corner by selecting color. So let's go with a pink. We'll just go ahead and do co here. And let's see, now you can clear that. And paper. Now, here's the thing I really don't understand about the app. I don't know, intend to get into the developer's head. But for whatever reason, this particular developer decided to have the background change. Which I don't think is actually necessary. It doesn't really, I don't really feel it adds any value to the learning process. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the first bug that I've noticed with this particular app. So we're going to select that one and then go back. Well, now we're stuck with that. So if we sit here and select paper, the app normally cl uh, crashes and closes and sh sends me back out to the launcher. So in order for me to fix that, what I end up normally doing is going to, if I want, especially if I want to go back to the normal paper, the original one, what I do is I go ahead and select paper. That was working for me earlier. Yeah, go figure. It doesn't want to work for me now that I'm... Well, hopefully, please don't crash on me. Okay, so yeah, it suddenly decides that it doesn't want to do that for me anymore. It was working for me earlier, but it's not working for me now. Let's see. Um, go remove Hiragana. So that's pretty much it for this app. Oh, uh, yep, that's pretty much it for this app. Um, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.